Hi, this is Sarah of Sites by Sarah. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a new page, to edit an existing page, and also how to delete a page. Um, so what you do is you go to your dashboard and you have posts or pages. And you do this both ways, whether it's a, a blog post or an actual page on your website. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on pages. And um, I'm going to tell it to add a new page. So you go to the pages menu and tell it add new and you want to give it a relevant title um, it's a good idea to be specific rather than general uh, so that helps with your SEO with your um, traffic and um, and then basically that's that's created this permalink of you know uh, full domain name forward slash relevant title dash be specific see so it's it's just created its own um, name so here is some content you know we're going to go ahead and add that um, if you have information that you're pasting from a word document you see this tab right here at the very end when you mouse over it, it says show or hide the kitchen sink if you click that you'll see here paste from word you want to open that and it says use control V on your keyboard to paste. You can go ahead and paste any text. And if you had um, bold or you had bigger sizing or you have bullets, it'll actually retain all of that. You just click insert after you paste it. Um, same thing here if you're going to paste from a, from a notepad or some kind of plain text editor. Um, it's just nice to do that. You're not going to get all the um, little characters that you might otherwise get if you just copied it to your clipboard and pasted it into WordPress. It does, it is set up for you in that way. Um, there's some basic things here. You can select, you can bold, italics. Um, you can also choose um, like a heading one if you wanted it to be much larger. Um, you know, you could adjust the alignment. You could put it to the right, to the center. Um, if you have more information, here I still have bold and um, italics selected, so you know you could unhighlight those. Oops, I clicked on the strike through. You could unhighlight those. You could put it in a quote, and it'll just move it in. Another thing too um, is you know you could take these three things, um, three points, and you could bullet them. Or you could have it in a numbered list, you know. So you just kind of want to play with these things. But this is a this is a new page here, and something really important to note is you'll see this is going right onto the main um, location of the site. Relevant title. If we were to preview this, you'd see this will actually come up as one of the main categories in your WordPress site. See, so so here it is here. And let's go back and um, and we can tell it where we want it to appear if we want it to be a main page with no parent if we want it to be sub to content management or web design or marketing services let's go ahead and just for now put it under marketing services and um, preview it okay so now we see under, well, it didn't show up here, but maybe in preview it doesn't do that. So it will show up underneath marketing services. Another thing too is um, you can select the, the way that the, um, the order that the pages appear in your site. So let's go ahead and publish this. And now view page, it will be under marketing services. Marketing services relevant title be specific. You see, now if I wanted this to um, precede that other page, I could actually tell it number one. Order is one. Update the page. Come back to view the page. And you see, well, no, that didn't do it. Relevant title be specific is still uh, second. So. Web presence packages. We might need to go in to edit the pages. And 
click on Web Presence Packages, and make this default order two. Update the page. And let's view the page. Marketing services. Do you see how that dropped it down to the second position? Web presence packages and then relevant title be specific was one. So since before web presence was zero and relevant was one, relevant still came second to it. So when we went into web presence packages and we gave that the order positioning of two, it bumped the relevant post or page up to the first place position. Okay, so that's how you create a page. Now let's go back into our pages, edit, and this will take us to our list of pages. Close some of these tabs while well, that's okay. And let's go ahead and go, wanted to show you th something here. You see where it says marketing services? And that's just, that's a top level um, link. And then you have these sub levels. There's SEO services. This is a draft, so you're not actually seeing it. It's not even published. But you see this dash, that means it's secondary. And then another dash, that means it's secondary. So, so just to illustrate what that is, again, is here's our main level, marketing services, and then this is a secondary level, relevant and web presence, right? So, um, so you know how to create a page, you know how to edit a page, right? And then the only other thing left to do really, um, you know, if I decide I didn't want this, I could go ahead and change the status from published to draft, tell it okay, update the page, and now, when I come back to my website, refresh, you always need to reload in order to see your changes. Okay. Under marketing, whoa, still showed up there. Um, draft, let that finish. And then come back here, refresh. Hmm. Okay, it may just be pulling from the cache, so I'm going to come back here, I'm going to hold the Shift F5, that's a hard refresh, and nope, okay, well, it's not putting it into draft, it's actually keeping it, oh, it's, see here it says published, so, okay, sometimes you have to go in and tell it again, draft, okay, and then come back, refresh, Alright, so update the page, and then come back to our pages, view, and see how here it shows that draft? That means it should not be visible to the website, so we're going to come back to Marketing Services. And then now when you mouse over marketing services, it just shows web presence packages. So um, it just didn't work the one time. You know, sometimes you have to go in and force it, <laughs> tell it draft, tell it update, make sure it, it saves it as such. Um, it's always a good idea to come back to your list of files and then again notice that it says draft. And, um, and indeed it is. So... That's how you do that, and then I could come back here, and let's say I, I just decide, you know what, let's just trash this. I can go ahead and um, just click on this delete, or I can check the box, and do a bulk action of delete. I mean, I'm only doing one, so it's not much of a bulk, but that's how, another way that you could do that. You're about to delete the selected. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Click OK. And now, that page does not exist anywhere. So that's how you add, edit, and delete a page. Thanks for watching. And feel free to email me questions. Sarah, S-A-R-A, at sites, S-I-T-E-S, by Sarah. Thanks. Bye.